welcome to Digital Rodeo. Thank you very Great much to for see having you. me, man. Yeah. Thank you for having me. How are you enjoying uh, your relationship with Nashville? Oh, it's to say I'm enjoying it is an understatement. Is it? I, I, for, for like the last couple of years, I felt so much like the outsider, like you know, the new guy trying to, to make it, and it feels so good now to feel part of the family. You know, I, I'm here all the time, and people love me, and I love them, and it's just like it feels awesome to be a <laughs> yes. part of this, man. It, you don't, don't want to become furniture, right? No, so exactly. You, you, you just remain important. Right? Exactly. Well, we are we are super glad to have you, of course. And I I uh, I got to thinking about it. You know, you have a voice that I think is. Um, uh, it's uh, it's like a familiar friend. Oh, cool, I don't know man. if you uh, recognize that about yourself, but I uh, I think it makes uh, makes your voice transcend genre really nicely. Well, thank you, thank yeah. you very much. And I, I don't know your take on that. I mean, how have you felt in in this sort of uh, country music as it's? I felt very at first. I mean, I felt very. I never felt like I was doing anything different when I was making the record. I didn't feel like I was singing different or writing different, or I just felt like I was making the record I wanted to make. And the thing, when we were done, I was so so worried about being accepted, you know, coming from the pop world, and, and there were so many people doing it at the time I came over, and I was like, you know, what's going to happen? And to have been, to rate for radio people to have just said, okay, hey, we don't care what everybody else is, what do you got? Right. And then they heard it, and they liked it. To be accepted like that, I was just, that was when I really realized how real country music is, how it's, there's no BS here, it's just real, and if you got the song, it doesn't matter what you look like or where you're from, if you got a great song... No, let's play. Right. Well, I, I think you're you're right. You, you haven't changed a lot of what you do, and I and I think it is nice that uh, uh, that you get to sort of be yourself in either genre. And I think you're doing this uh, doing this beautifully well. By the oh, way, I want, want to say, uh, what about the process of writing? How, how about arriving at these songs? Are you doing any co-writing? And oh yeah. I know, I know on this song you wrote with Clay yeah, Mills. Clay Mills, yeah. I co-wrote the whole record, and it was for me it was so different because up until this record, I had written all all I wrote by myself. Yeah. You know, there was maybe one or two songs I got with somebody else to write, but I was by myself. And so when I started doing this, I really realized how how songwriting in Nashville is a science, and it's so beautiful. And and the thing that I love the most is like melody and stuff. How I've been so used to writing by myself that melody was just you know. My melodies were what I sang, and when I'd sing something, and then Frank Rogers would say, well, what do you think of this? And he'd sing the same melody, just a little different, the way he heard it, and you'd go, wow, I would have never sung that, but that's perfect. Sharing that space yeah. a little bit. Yeah, and that yeah. was beautiful. Like I keep saying, like I can't wait to start writing the next record, because I had so much fun writing this. Well, we're, we're delighted to have you. I want to say thanks. We're not going to take a lot of your time, because you're real busy, and you're in demand. Oh, it's so good. Take Thank that, you, man. Good that to see you. that old friend of the, the voice you've got, and take it and share it with Nashville. I won't try yeah, to, man. Thank to you very much. Really. Good to see you. Thank you. Thanks. Don't think I don't, don't think I don't